this pack was like the first pack, like the first ever DLC for The Sims 4 and I'm only playing with it now? Hello guys, it's me Tori and welcome back to my channel for another video. Now I'm really excited to make this video because if you've been following me on Twitter for a little while, you would know that recently I've been toying between buying two packs in The Sims, like the Origin sale, and I've been thinking about buying The Sims 4 Backyard stuff and The Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat. So I decided to get... The Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat. I don't know. I just thought it was quite a big saving, you know, like 50% off on a game pack. It's literally, it costs less than a stuff pack now. This pack is over five years old now and I still don't have this pack and I want it so badly. So I have practically all the game packs now, just need to get Spa Day. Okay, so I'm excited to explore this pack. I know it's very old, but like for me it's new. So I thought I'd do like a little review on this pack because I love watching review videos and I know it's dumb because this pack is really old, but I just thought it'd be fun because I like watching these videos and seeing what people think of them and like first impressions and stuff. And I don't know, maybe you guys will like this as well. So it says, welcome to the Sims 4 outdoor retreat. And it says that there are vacations. Um, every Sim needs a vacation from time to time. Sims can use the phone or computer to book a vacation. Herbalism skill. The herbalism skill allows your Sims to identify wild plants and brew potent herbal remedies. <gasps> oh, nice. New collections and craftables. Your Sim can be a true lover of the outdoors. Create new craftables at the woodworking table. Fish for new wild fish and collect insects from all over Granite Falls. <gasps> Nice! <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Beware of the bear. What goes bump in the night? A sim in a bear costume, of course. Roar and spook out the other campers, or simply just cause mischief while looking silly. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I just thought it was fun, you know? I just thought it would be great. So, now I have Outdoor Retreat, and I thought we'd just go in and look at the world, and make some new sims, look at the cast stuff, look at build mode stuff, and I can give you my opinions on it, because I love giving my unneeded, unnecessary opinions on dumb things. <laughs> Okay, he's a dog lover, good and neat. That's cool. I like that. Okay, we'll go through the male creator sim items first. This pack is like so old. Like this pack was like the first pack, like the first ever DLC for The Sims 4. And I'm only playing with it now. <laughs> I know. <gasps> so first we have this long hair for the males. There are only two hairstyles for men, which is kind of sad because like there's probably loads of female hairstyles. I mean, I suppose you can put any hairstyle on them, but like these are the only ones tagged for men. So you've got this lovely long hair. And then we have a shorter hair. This one's got a little bit of like a messy edge around it. Like, I don't know. Look, you see in this? It's kind of cool. It's kind of like rustic. I, I like it. I think that's very cool, actually. I think it's pretty cool. I don't think we have any new facial hair. We have some new hats. Okay, so we have these hats. <laughs> <laughs> they're so funny oh my god I love these <laughs> like there's some swatches I probably wouldn't use like a heck of a lot but I just I think it's good that we have some more baseball caps for the sims this is so weird like I'm saying we have some new stuff like you people have probably had this in your game for ages but like this is kind of cool I think the outdoor retreat is cool like you've got a nice amount of items and this was the first ever Sims 4 DLC, so I think it's cool. It's also nice to see, like, potentially how far we have progressed since the first Sims 4 DLC. Okay, I'm going to give you this hair for now. Okay, we have some accessories. Oh, apparently not. I feel like this pack as well will go really nicely with Eco Lifestyle, like the collecting bugs and stuff. Like, Eco Lifestyle is the newest DLC, but I feel like it goes very nicely with the oldest DLC. Okay, so let's go and have a little look at some of the clothing items, because that is always good. Oh, we have quite a nice range of like tops and jackets. These could all be like used for fitness outfits, which is good. 
Um, I never really look at the male cast enough, but I like this one. I think that's cool. We have like a tank top, some very nice different swatches on here. I kind of like this pack, I think. I think definitely Cass is worth the money. Like, I got it on sale and I still think it would be worth the money full price. Like, this pack is really cool. And we got like a plain white one and we got all those stripes. Really nice. And then we have a nice uh jumper here again so i want to go through it quickly because i don't want to be like sat here all day but i think they're very nice um yeah i'm i'm happy that they get quite a lot of stuff because a lot of the time especially with the newer packs they really do tend to the males don't get it as good as the females when it comes to the cast department like it's very sad you know and they just don't deserve that do they i like the orange <laughs> i i think it's cool um, I'm not sure exactly how, um, like, the clothing is going to work for, like, if you wanted to put, like, a feminine outfit on this sim, because I don't think at this point they had had the patch for The Sims 4 that, um, enabled clothes for, for any gender at this point. Um, I don't think we'd had that patch for The Sims 4 yet. I say we, I didn't play The Sims 4 back then, but you know what I mean. Okay, then we'll go for uh trousers and stuff got some lovely shorts okay they got a good range of stuff i swear male sims don't get as much stuff in newer packs and it's kind of sad <laughs> i'm just gonna go for it pretty quickly i like those they're all kind of like similar oh that's like a longer version but we were getting a lot of content here and i kind of like it. it all fits the vibe nicely and i feel like you could make your sims wear this stuff even if you weren't going camping like it has replayability well at least for the cast items anyway so i think that's cool um <laughs> we have a bear costume which is lovely better not show my sister otherwise she will literally make all my sims wear this bear costume and then we have like a park rangers outfit i'm getting like robin hood vibes from this one here i don't know i don't know um, I'm not sure how often you could make your sims wear these full body outfits, but I mean, they're cool to have. Okay, let's look at accessories. Okay, we have a nice bracelet here. I think that's cool. Definitely need some more things like that. And then we got another one. Oh, look, you can wear them both at the same time. That's great. And we got some socks, which is always good nice to have some socks <laughs> i feel like we don't have enough socks in the sims 4 so makes me pretty happy oh my god look at all the shoes wait no pack gives us this many shoes i swear oh my god this is actually s wait for a game pack this is actually there's a lot of content this is genuinely worth the money i would totally recommend you buy this so far oh my god oh my god look at all this stuff I love these shoes, by the way. Like, I could even imagine my Sims wearing some of these shoes because they're just so cool. Look at the yellow. Okay. I There's so many. Like, I can't even go through all the swatches. There are so many here. Like, are you seeing this? I... <laughs> I'm sorry. This pack looks so good. Like, so much content. Nice. Let's just make another Sim so that we can go through some more creator sim items okay let's go through that oh my god females have so many more hairs this is this is sad we get two male i say in air quotes hairstyles and yeah <laughs> this is kind of sad okay so we have these uh plaits i love these so much like i've seen these on people's sims before and i've wanted them so bad and i have only got them now i love this hair this is probably like one of my favorite hairstyles in the sims 4 i just think it's so cool and then we've got this oh my god i finally have this hair in my game <laughs> you don't know how happy this makes me oh my god she looks so gorgeous like this this hair is so good <laughs> and then we have this hairstyle again i love it i love that it's um pretty gender neutral i like this hair it's pretty cool and then we have this hairstyle oh it's pretty it looks quite short from like that and then you're like wait there's a plait that's cute i like it i like the like casualness of this i mean it definitely fits the vibe but it does have that replayability because um i i literally sound like a beauty guru <laughs> but you 
what I mean is you could put this on your sims when you're not going camping. Like, they could wear this in, like, everyday gameplay, which is always good. Oh, this hair is so cute. I've seen so many, like, CC things based on this hairstyle, and now I get this cute hairstyle in my game. I'm going to put her in this one. I'll actually, I'll go with these. And then I think... Uh, I'll see if there's any accessories. Oh, look. Female Sims can wear this hat. <laughs> it covers her eyebrows. <laughs> I like this one, though. I like the pink camo print. I think that is very cute. Um, I like it. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Actually, I think male and female Sims have a similar amount of clothing items, which is very good. Very good. I like the different colours we got here. I, I think it's cool. Like, this screams, like, camping holiday to me. Like, it's great. Like, this is, like, rustic but kind of cute. Like, ah, the vibes I get from this is so cute. I love this gingham print here. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> this just makes me so happy. I It's so cute. Oh, my God. This is, like, a really nice simple top. But I did not know I needed it until I saw it. Oh, my God. I love it. I will be making every sim wear this top from now on oh my god <laughs> i'm just gushing over this pack like i'm gonna be here for like ages <laughs> oh my god i need some more like gilets for my sims oh my god <gasps> oh my god this is kind of cute actually <laughs> i'm gonna put her in that one for now i i love this like there's a different range of things going on like we've got rustic we got cute we got like a lot of different things okay i got like some cc apparently that's tagged for outdoor retreat which i didn't realize um i like these trousers i wish they were a bit more high-waisted i don't think we have that many like high-waisted things in this pack we have definitely more with newer packs which i think is cool like i mean it's good to have like a mixture but i don't think we have that kind of mixture in the early packs but I do like this kind of belt thing and like these ripped um, shorts. Like it's like they've got their jeans and cut them into shorts. Like, does anyone else do that? Or is that just like a thing that me and my family do? <laughs> like uh, my sister's got like a pair of jeans that she cut like the ends off and turned into shorts. Oh my God, these are so cute. They exist in this pack. I'm using them all the time. <laughs> Wait, they've got like a little ombre look on them. They're adorable. Heck yeah, I love them. And then we got these, the little pockets. They would be great. I want a pair of shorts like these. Great, love them. And then we got like some purple ones and then more sort of like skin tight. Very nice. I I sound like such a fashion guru. <laughs> oh yeah, so fashionable. I know what I'm doing. Huh. <laughs> I don't really know what to make of this skirt. Like obviously it's not going to be very like usable in normal gameplay because I mean it's kind of like tattered and stuff but I don't know I kind of get like a cute grandma vibe from this I don't know <laughs> I like a lot of this stuff though I think it's cool and then we have three um outfits that are tagged for female sims very nice I like this layers top combo I do this myself and I think it looks so cool this sim is rocking these outfits I are these like the same thing? I'm confused. Is there literally like the same outfit to me, just different colours? I don't see any difference apart from colour variations. I'm kind of confused by that, but we'll, we'll move on. And then we got the same like accessories for male and female sims. And then I don't think we have any new shoes, do we? Oh, we have these very, very like... Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how practical they would be for going camping. Um, The heels are pretty long. Oh my god, there's so many shoes. Oh my god. Are you seeing this? I. <laughs> oh my god, I want to go on a camping holiday now. <laughs> like, The Sims is really making me want to do that. Okay, we'll put those shoes on her. Uh, Give her... Okay, so there's a new trait with The Sims for... I say new, <laughs> this pack is literally five years old, but there's a trait that comes with this pack and it is the squeamish trait. And it says squeamish. I really struggle to say squeamish, by the way. Especially squeamish trait. Squeamish trait. Squeamish trait. Ugh. <laughs> squeamish sims are nauseated by the sight of creepy crawlies. 
Yeah, same. Caterpillars. Caterpillars. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't wish anything bad on caterpillars. I love them. I just... They make me feel a bit... Ugh, you know? <laughs> Vomiting? Oh my god, no. Violence? Oh my god, no. And death? Oh my god... I I'm squeamish. <laughs> These sims become uncomfortable near anything dirty. Yeah, same. I didn't realise this, but I'm squeamish. I guess this is what I'm going to give my sim self. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> why is that me? Oh, we got a new aspiration. Outdoor enthusiast. And it says, outdoor enthusiasts want to experience everything nature has to offer. Okay, let's just make those two married and then maybe we can like randomize a kid. Of course, there'll be nothing for toddlers because toddlers, unfortunately, did not exist at the time of this, um, this game pack. Okay, we have two hairs for kids. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that so much. Oh my god. And then we have this braid hairstyle for children, which I think is very cute. Oh my god, look at these knitted hats. Oh my god, that is so cute. <gasps> my only gripe with this hat is that you can't see their hair because I would still like it. I don't know how that would be possible, but like if you could see her braids underneath, that would be kind of cool. But they're very, very cute. I like them a lot. Oh, we got sunglasses and then, oh, this necklace is adorable. <gasps> oh my God. I'm giving every, oh my God. I can imagine they like made a daisy chain. Like this one kind of looks like maybe like costume jewelry that you bought from like a shop but this one looks like an actual daisy chain the kid went out camping and they sat down on the grass made a daisy chain i could never make daisy chains but you know what my sims kids can oh my god doesn't every kid like have a pair of sunglasses like these like some point in their life oh okay that's very sad um why are you leaving the guys out you know okay so we have a lovely top combo. I love these. Oh, look at the little teddy bear. <laughs> this is so cute. This pack screams cute. Okay, I'm confused as to why we have two different tops. Like, they're the same mesh. Why would you not put it all under the same thing? I don't really get it. But there's a lot of colour options. Um, So that's kind of cool. Again, like, the same thing. That's kind of weird. But... I mean, we get more swatches than we do in current packs, so, I mean, yay, we'd like some more swatches, please. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I love this stuff. I can't believe all of this has come with a game pack. These are so cute. Honestly, Sims team need to make more game packs like this, because I love wholesome things. Just, like, make wholesome game packs, like, wholesome content. We've got, like, lots of supernatural stuff. Just make wholesome stuff. <laughs> and they got the panda costume. <laughs> I don't know why the swatches are in the wrong order on the kid one. Like, they're in a different order to the adult one. But we won't be pedantic. That's annoying. <laughs> okay, so that was my creator sim overview, I guess. Honestly, nice. I like this stuff a lot. It definitely fits the vibe. Top notch. 10 out of 10. Mwah. Okay, so now we're going to get into build and buy mode. Okay, so I have put them in a little plot in Newcrest, and then I'm going to go and show you all the different build and buy mode items. Okay, so we have quite a few different things. We have a, like a camping bed. See all the different colours. It's kind of cool. I like the different range that we have. And then we've got another bed that's more slightly raised up. These things are kind of cute. I could, I don't know, I can imagine them being in like a university dorm. I get that vibe. And then we have a double bed. These things are actually kind of cheap as well. So, I mean, they'd be great for like legacy challenges and like rags to riches stuff. I think that is cool. And then we have this bed. I can imagine in like a lodge house. I definitely want this to do like my, my Sim Sparks challenge because I have like an idea of like a rustic place that I could do. And this one is cute. I can imagine this like being used with Realm of Magic as well because Realm of Magic has like that vibe to it. Oh my god, it's called the Splinter Sitter. <laughs> oh my god, these swatches are cool. Oh, I like that one. That's kind of cute. 
I like this stuff. I don't think we have like a huge range of swatches, which is kind of a little bit sad. Definitely things in expansion packs have more swatches, but this was an early Sims pack. I like this chair. I'm getting like full on wholesome rustic vibes from this. I think this stuff is pretty cool. And then we've got like a nice sofa. I like it because you've got like some nice plain swatches which you could use normally. Oh look at the logwood love seat. Well, if it was that, okay. <laughs> so we got that and then we have this thing. Definitely a must have for camping. I mean, it's just cute. And we've got this one. Not going to go through all the swatches now because I mean, <gasps> oh, I love that so much. I don't know why. It's just a tree stump, but it just it makes me so happy like i'm getting full-on camping holiday vibes from this and i mean it is a camping pack but they did hit the nail on the head <gasps> oh my god i love it <laughs> i'm sorry this looks such a cool pack like i can imagine there's a lot of gameplay for like families and family gameplay is definitely a must-have in the sims 4 so i can imagine if you like family gameplay this is the pack for you this stuff is so cute it's not even that expensive i don't think okay what is this called pocket pusser i thought they said poly pocket for a minute who else used to have poly pockets was it just me oh i love this stuff it's so rustic like i want to make like an old cottage with this stuff it's so cute we've got a lot of items with this pack as well like there's a lot going on here i like it and there's a wooden shelf. I think I've got to put that on a wall. <laughs> Maybe I'll build up a wall in a sec. What is this? I'm so confused what it is. Um, oh, it's a table. Oh. <laughs> you could just like have a whole house built out of like tree stumps. You could build a den. <gasps> oh my god, den building. Heck yeah. Oh my god, this stuff. I'm running out of room on my lot now, which there's a lot of picnic tables. I like it. I don't think we need any more picnic tables in The Sims 4 though. I think maybe The Sims team can stop with picnic tables now. And we've got a lot of sinks and stuff now, so I don't think we need any more of those. I'm running out of room. Oh my god, this is kind of cute though. Oh my god, this would be so good for like legacy challenges. I want to do a legacy challenge now. I always like start Let's Plays and never finish them. Oh my god, we've got a cute guitar. Oh my god. Wait, is this like a gaming table? oh like card games <laughs> i'm just like wait gaming and then we have a cooler very nice can't they like sit on these i don't know <laughs> and they can like store food in them tent very nice i've been wanting tents in my gameplay for ages finally tents like they can i swear they can like play with torches in these tents and we got a bonfire very nice and we got some more bonfires <gasps> got a horseshoe pit oh my god this stuff is wholesome and i'm literally running out of room on this lot to place everything many unbearable hours later this is definitely all the clutter you could ever need in the sims like this pack is five years old over five years old and if you people don't have it because you're like nah, camping that's boring i'm sorry this stuff is literally worth it for the stuff alone and in the sale definitely worth it this is so cool okay so we have a wooden thing like this and we have a lot of different swatches oh my god you could make like a barn with this that would be cool i love the rustic vibes of these things oh look this one's got like an end bit on it and that one doesn't and then you've got a horizontal oh my god that's so cool i love that this flooring is so cute genuinely this flooring is so cute i want to use this all the time it looks like that base game flooring but like better you know the base game flooring i mean that is so cute i love it so much you get two new terrain paints with it oh my god i don't even think you can see that but like they're there and they're cute oh my god we get plants to oh my god are you kidding me we get all this with a game pack <laughs> Right, the Sims team actually need to make more game packs like this because I feel like some of the recent game packs kind of haven't had as much stuff as this. This one has a lot. We have flowers as well. And that's not even like getting into debug. Oh my god. I will be using this stuff all the time. Oh my god. We have like a blossom. This is insane. 
like i feel like this pack is so underrated <laughs> why did i not get this before i want i'm not gonna lie though i literally bought this pack for hearts to put in my sim sparks challenge <laughs> oh my god this stuff is so cool i <laughs> i'm gonna cry over this pack it's so good it's so good look at all this stuff are you kidding me so this pack let's have a look at the items we get in this one okay we're scrolling a lot this is almost like the amount you get in like an expansion when you compare it to like i don't know dine out okay oh dine out you actually get more items actually this has less in it Three, four, five, six. Oh! Dino actually has more than I realised. It has more than Realm of Magic does, but not compared to Dine Out. Why does Realm of Magic have so little stuff in it, hmm? Okay, so I'd say it's like, sort of in the middle for game pack stuff. Like, it's, there's probably game packs with more in it, and there's probably ones with less. So, although it's the oldest, it's certainly not the worst. Like, realm of magic that has a lot less um build and buy mode stuff this stuff though is very good i can imagine if you're a builder so i think that'd be great let's have a look at the aspirations okay and we've got to find some unidentified plants and then catch fish let's have a look at this and then when you're a forest scout you have to do the herbalism skill oh my god you have to cook plates of beetles <laughs> oh my god isn't that what you have to do in eco lifestyle though Hmm. I don't know how I feel about so much of a crossover. I feel like it's almost a little bit like rehashed content. Don't kill me. I'm just saying my real honest opinions. I'm not trying to get attacked. Okay, I think kids can actually like play with the torch in the tent, so I think we'll go for it. Look, play in tent. This is so cool. They can like relax, they can nap, it's and then adults can woohoo in the tent. <laughs> oh my god okay let's see what she okay i think they play with like a torch this stuff has a lot of stuff that makes sense i like it i like the cozy vibes i like wholesome stuff i think if you're a builder or like a family game player this is probably a good pack to have actually i'd recommend this definitely over dine out um i'd probably recommend it over vampires i'm not a huge fan of them realm of magic i like for the gameplay not so much for the cast i i would recommend this i would say this is like sort of in the middle of the packs like it's one of the better game packs i think it's nice i like it um i don't know how i feel about replay value like will that be great okay we're gonna go on a vacation i think and then i'll probably stop this video i hope i've like done a good overview <laughs> okay so you can stay in green getaway uh riverside retreat oh we got like a campground and then there's like there's like a place that you can go exploring i think we'll go to the campground and we can like get a tent and stuff i think it's fun i like the fact that you can choose whether you're gonna stay in a lodge house and have a really nice fun time or whether you're gonna i don't know brave it out with the insects and the creepy crawlies oh no it's raining <laughs> oh no this goes so well with seasons though honestly because i mean <laughs> when this pack was first released there wasn't seasons to worry about so you didn't have to worry about the rain but now you've got like all that to deal with as well this world is stunning like i get major glimmerbrook vibes from this genuinely i can imagine this is like a little bit off of Glimmerbrook or if you like travelled on further through this forest like if the worlds were all attached to each other if we had like an open world I can definitely imagine this being like near Glimmerbrook like if you travelled through this world enough you would find the little town of Glimmerbrook I just want to get my thumbnail <laughs> come on be happy it's raining I love it so much okay and I think you can like buy a tent and stuff this world is so cute I love it so much this is honestly one of like the cutest things I've ever seen this is so good I love the sims 4 <laughs> okay let's see what I think there's like a place where you can buy a tent from because that would be great but I don't know there's like a little bonfire there already 
And, oh look, you can play with this horseshoe thing. Oh my god. <gasps> I thought it would only be like two sims that could play this together. No, no, no. You can get at least three sims playing together. Oh my god, this is so cute. I love this pack so much already. Oh my god, this is wholesome. I love wholesome things. <sighs> Wait, oh my god, and they've got a little forest ranger. This is genuinely the cutest thing ever. So, yeah, I think there's, like, replay value with this. If you just want your sims to, like, hang out, that's cool. Like, you can be chill, or you can follow the aspiration. I think this is actually kind of cool. What are my opinions on this pack? Do I think it was worth it? Do I think it's worth paying for the pack full price five years later? Well... I do think it's worth it. I bought this pack for £8.99 on Origin in the sale. It was definitely worth it. I mean, currently it is cheaper than a stuff pack. The sale is until the 28th of July, I believe, and definitely worth it. Do I think this pack is worth it full price? Yes, I do. I think this pack is sort of in the middle, if not one of the better game packs. I think there are ones that are better than this. Parenthood integrates so nicely with gameplay, but this place has a new world. It's a residential world, and I do think this world is better than Jungle Adventure, because that is very glitchy with all the temples and stuff, and that does stress me out a bit. And it's very sandboxy. You can do whatever you want. You can chill out. You can just have a good time. You can collect insects and stuff, and then maybe sell them for money. And you get a new trait with it, which is cool because we are kind of lacking for traits in The Sims 4 and we get a lot of creator sim items and a lot of nice swatches. So yeah, I do think it's worth it. Probably one of the better packs. I would recommend this um, if you have like Parenthood already. Like I think that's like the best pack and then like Realm of Magic and stuff. This is definitely up there with my favourite game packs. I would recommend this over Dine Out any day. I would recommend this over Vampires and Strangerville any day. Definitely. I think it's worth it. So, that was my honest opinions. Obviously, you can disagree with me. That is absolutely fine. I know that this doesn't suit everybody's gameplay tastes, but I think this is a very cute pack. So I like it. So on that note, I think I'm going to go. I am done with my review video and I cannot wait to be playing with this pack some more. Let me know your opinions on it and please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I hope you have a really good day and I will see you guys next time.